Well, a family of a man who was killed after he was struck while in his wheelchair is calling for justice tonight. Our Laurencia Smith has that story. The damaged wheelchair of 35-year-old Jacardre Brown is now sitting on the porch of his mother's home in the Grove community. That wheelchair is a reminder of Brown's life, which ended tragically on Tuesday past following a traffic accident. Now, according to police, a male was driving eastbound on Tawny Williams Darling Highway when his Nissan Note collided with Brown's wheelchair. And tonight, his older sister, Celeste Brown Gilbert, is calling for justice for her younger brother. The only thing with me before is that um, everybody just be fair in the matter and we like to see justice for the God race. If you see someone crossing the road, even if it's a dog, what would you do? You could run that dog over, or you could stop and let that dog pass. His sister telling us that her brother lived in the area and would normally hang out by the local car wash before returning home. She could not say exactly where Brown was going on that day. However, she shared how she felt the moment she learned about his death. She said, I asked, I said, Mother, I said, where are you? So she said, Celeste, I'm home. So I said to her, I said, where? The car tray. So she said, the Cordray Pass. And after telling me the Cordray Pass, it was like, you know, all kind of grief. And it was, it was really, you know, a hard moment for me right then. According to Brown's family, he was confined to a wheelchair since 2007 following a stabbing incident. Going person, very nice, very nice person. You got to get, you got to, get to know him in order to, to say that, okay, this is a good friend. He was a good friend to anyone. Head of the Traffic Division Superintendent David Lockhart gave us a brief update into their investigation. Investigation is still ongoing to that, into that. So the actual cause of that, I, I would not like to say at this time because we are still in the early stages. Mr. Cash, um, he would have led the investigation into that. Laurencia Smith, Eyewitness News.